everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is second part for rigid body physics in Blender. So we have this cube, we have selected this cube, so let's go over the rigid body uh, physics panel. You should set the type to active like this. And I just I want to talk about these dots over there. So when you try to add a keyframe like this, and to add another keyframe and this uh, dot and this diamond over there so just this uh, uh, for setting keyframes if you want to set some keyframes like this and for this uh, option over here or rigid body to be controlled by the animation system at the same time using the rigid body physics and uh, the effect of uh, gravity and uh, also under the uh, controlling and the effect of animation system you can keyframe it also by clicking over there and you can click keyframe it and move your keyframes in this timeline editor and also you can set it and check it like this so you can play the animation As shown here. This is just uh, principle and basics how to do it and try it yourself in order to understand the difference in between these two, two keyframes. You can delete keyframes like this by hitting X going over these keyframes in the timeline editor as shown here. So let's move on uh, for the collisions tab like this you have the shape and the source for the convex or collision shape this is depending on the complexity of the 3d object that you have in the scene is going to interact with the other objects and when your object is going to fall you have the for example sometimes you can set it to mesh like this and the collision shape of object in a rigid body simulations, a mesh like surface uh, encompassing shrink wrap over all vertices, best results with fewer vertices. So just go over here. Sometimes you can set it to a mesh like this, and you can play the animation as shown here, here in our tutorial. If you have uh, the case where, where we have an object attached to money children you can select compound parent and set it to make a uh, best behavior for your animation in the case where we have the object like uh, this it has this shape like this so let's go back to rigid body physics you can select the box like this <laughs> Also, when you have the shape like this UV sphere, so just you can you can select uh, in the shape collisions because in order to to make uh, some approximation and approaches in the collision mathematics, so just to select the the sphere over here like this. Also, we have another option which is the form, and uh, this uh, field over here deals with modifiers. So let's explain this uh, field over here, the source, and once it is the form, the blender, blender option, and uh, the physics, uh, and, the fa and this option over here uh, will consider all the modifiers over here like this all the modifiers over here will cons will be considered by that uh, option when set to deform and applying the rigid body physics so and in the case where we have the base modifiers so this uh, will consider the all the modifiers that are added to object and applied to object and the final will consider the all the modifiers applied and not yet applied uh, on your object and we have we have this case where uh, the cube is going down to fall 
in this tab for example over here so just once set the shape to convex hole for both of these two objects like this then let's play the animation and when this cube is falling just is going to uh, remain on the top of this uh, tab as shown here and when set the shape in collision to con convex hole Blender is going to make an imaginary, imaginary convex hole uh, surrounding this top over the, there. So when the cube is falling down, uh, doesn't uh, doesn't uh, go inside this top as shown here in our tutorial. So just go over here, set it to mesh. So let's play the animation again and see what will happen. And you can see that the cube is going down and falling inside this top. We have also this uh, sensitivity and uh, the margin and uh, this factor is the threshold of distance uh, near surface where collisions are still considered best re results when when non-zero so uh, this factor is going to deal with the, the interaction of the two bodies in collision like in our tutorial over there and you have surface response, so for example, you can set it to 0.5. And the bounciness, bounciness, the object is going to bounce and hit the surface and going up and and bounce again until the kinetic energy is uh, is going to disappear. So just for bounciness, set it to 0.5, for example, like this, like the friction. Friction is the interaction of uh, different bodies to each other and you have this factor is going to set the rate of fr friction between these different bodies as shown here so let's play the animation again and see what will happen when setting bossiness to point to point five let's see what will happen when we try to set bossiness to one like this so let's play the animation again Let's see what will happen when setting bounciness to 1. And let's set the friction to 1 like this. So in order to get dramatic bounciness for this cube, so just decrease the friction value 2.1. So let's play the animation again and let's see what will happen. When we set bounciness to 2, so let's see what will happen. Let's play the animation again and set friction to this value like this. And that's it for this second part. See you in the third part. Thanks for watching.